All right, we are going to talk about work, the transfer of energy to and from kinetic energy. So when we talk about that, work is going to be positive if we're increasing the kinetic energy. Work is going to be zero if there's no change in the kinetic energy, and work is going to be negative if we're actually taking energy away from it. Okay? Work is going to be defined for us as a force parallel times a displacement. Now these have an arrow over the top, meaning they're vectors, meaning they have direction and magnitude. So you have to consider the direction of the force and the displacement. So for instance, when I pull this block, I'm pulling in the same direction as the motion. That means I'm giving it kinetic energy. Whereas friction, as I'm pulling it, is pointing in the opposite direction it's moving, meaning it's taking away that kinetic energy. So what I can say is that when force and displacement are in the same direction, I'm increasing the kinetic energy, I'm doing positive work. If my force and displacement are in opposite directions, I'm decreasing kinetic energy, I get a negative work. So we do need to include the direction on these, but it produces work, which is a scalar, which doesn't have a direction. But the positive and negative is just telling me which way the energy is flowing with respect to kinetic energy. And then something like gravity, gravity is acting straight down. Is gravity helping or hindering me? push the block or pull the block? No. So gravity does no work. So if that force is perpendicular, it does no work. So then we increase our force to an angle. What happens now? Okay. How am I doing work in that situation? So if I start to pull at an angle on there, you'll notice that I have that force at an angle, so I will resolve it into components. There'll be a x component here. So this is, we'll say, f, and we'll call this theta. So this is f cosine of theta. And this component is f sine of theta. So what we end up seeing is we end up seeing that the component that's perpendicular to the displacement does zero work because it's perpendicular. So the only part of that force that I'm concerned about is that parallel component. So when we find work for forces that aren't in the same direction as the displacement, we need to find the parallel component. Okay? Now, when we look at this graph over here, this image, we're going to see that in the center is kinetic energy. And around it, I have my different types of energy. I can have an input energy. So this is how I get energy given to my object to speed it up. So this is what we call work in, or input work. It's a non-conservative force, meaning if I push a block, I've lost that energy forever. I can't get it back. Or if friction slows something down, it turns that kinetic energy into heat, you're not going to get that energy back. You can't just heat something up and it'll just tear off across the room. Kinetic energy can also have work done by a spring or by gravity. But these are conservative forces, meaning I can get that energy back. If I lift something up, I've stored that energy, I can get it back. It can come back as kinetic energy. And so if anything's going toward kinetic, it's positive work. Away from kinetic, it's negative work.